Copper fam, uh, before we do begin this week's show, just please look at Poet's new tattoo. If Carlsberg made tattoos, this would probably be the worst one. And this is why you are a hero. And why you're just, what a guy. Hello, Copper fam. Welcome to Comments Below. I'm Poet, and this is the wonderful David Vianic. And this is the show where you leave your comments below. You and... do. <laughs> so never. Roger's out. So never. Roger's is gone. <laughs> and there's an epic moment in this show, and it only goes... Comments of the week where we discussed last week's comments and any other business. Yeah, a bit like Arsenal, free, United, nil. I told you, martial arts, martial law, forget it. And you can come see us next week at our Copper 90 event. Let's start with Rogers. We have a comment here from Daniel Razak. Rogers out, finally. But knowing the Liverpool board, they'll appoint Gary Monk or Steve McLaren. Thoughts? Stop, just forget about that latter part. Did you say Steve Let's McLaren? Let's just celebrate <laughs> the fact that Rogers is finally gone. Brendan Rodgers has left Liverpool. Good fucking riddance. I actually stopped watching the derby at half time. Why? How? I just stopped. I was like, you can't dominate a game like that. Mm. Give away a goal like that. Mm -hmm. We should have battered Everton and they got a draw out of nothing. And I just stopped. I just stopped caring. I went to make eggs. But he's gone though. Klopp's gonna come and we're gonna win the league. We're gonna <laughs> win the league. <laughs> we're gonna win the league for it. We want Klopp in. Klopp for the cop. It just makes sense, the romantic element of it. You know, a German manager with passion, who cares about his club, who cares about the fans, who listens. I want that, I don't want lies anymore. Sorry, I've got a sneeze. What? <coughs> that was a cop. <laughs> I just think we're finally on an upward spiral. The energy is going to come back to Liverpool. The atmosphere is going to come back to the games. It's just hope, and hope dies last. And I think I finally have a bit of hope again, and that makes me extremely happy. Copper fan, what do you think? Would you prefer Klopp in the Premier League? Angelotti coming back after you know his success at Chelsea? Leave a uh... comment and let us know. But most importantly, what does Adam Lallana think? Your face goes through a lot. Look what I can do. Give it a care it needs. So we can talk about your happiness or we can now talk about mine. Your happiness. Sunday. Sunday. It was about... A mad thing. 3.30. I saw Thomas Rosicki, I screamed happy birthday to him, he ignored birthday, me. Birthday, Thomas, birthday, Thomas. Yeah. I walked into the ground, I was a little bit optimistic. The, you're walking into the ground. I walked in, I sat okay. down at the carpet. You've sat on the chair. I've seen these Arsenal players come out. You have seen And them. by 20 past four, 20 the game was done. Done. That's Power League. <laughs> oh, fuck. How can we treat 11 aside like Power League? How? Disrespectful. Man United. Yes. You make me sick. Sick. I told you. Look, we were, we were nice last week, we but were so nice. sorry. You've Ooh. lost 3 0 to Arsenal. Let's read a Let's comment. Read a comment. From Joseph. From He's jo a Chelsea fan. Chel okay. Arsenal smash United 3 0. <laughs> Has Wenger found his best 11? No. Okay. Because Murta Black and Decker loves the jobs you hate with still playing centre back. We need Koscielny at centre back, mm -hmm. and then I feel like that is our best 11. Yes. Santi Claus was taking the absolute mick out of Manchester United. Theo Walcott, you couldn't catch him. Couldn't catch he him. He was a criminal in the dark. Just running around. Where is he? Couldn't find the, him. DiCaprio in that movie with the planes. Catch me if you can. And yeah. they couldn't catch him. Meza Ozil was amazing. Everyone cusses this individual for not playing big in the big games. He was outstanding. outstanding. Sanchez. Great first touch. You would have loved him at Liverpool, wouldn't you? But you never got him because Rodgers is an idiot. I just want to know why we can't show this type of attitude in every single game. And for me as well, as, as just a football fan, I don't think United are good. They are actually a weak team. What I don't understand is the respect that other teams give United as a Why? name. Like, for example, uh, Rodgers, thank God he's gone. He, he, he started with, with basically no strikers. So, do you know what I mean? If you've got weak centre-backs, you press from the off. Arsenal got rid of Manchester United at 20 past four. 20 past four. I don't want to get no tweets from you lot no more. I just don't even want to see any Man United fans in life. Forget the league, forget the Champions League, forget the League Cup, forget the FA Cup. Forget it all. Van Gaal, you had the audacity to say, when we beat Arsenal. When? Ooh. When was that coming, Van Gaal? When? I'm not going to speak about Arsenal no more. I'm done. Van Gaal wasn't done because this was his reaction, you know, in the changing room after the game. <laughs> That's right, slap them! Treat them like Beckham! You remember Beckham? Kick the boot on him, slap him! They can't beat us! Copper fam, leave some comments and let us know what do you think about Manchester United defensively? Are they good enough to carry on challenging for the title? Can Arsenal actually win the league? 
Can we still be in the conversation in May? Leave a comment, let us know. I think we're going to get through the Champions League as well. I've heard that you talked to Ramsey recently. Yeah, he looks a bit like you as well. Good looking guy, check out this vid. What song did you sing for your initiation at Arsenal? I think we just did a speech then. Checked and a... a he was yeah, he was rapping. He, he made up this rap and went around each table rapping about the certain players on that table. Are you serious? It was unbelievable. Big up New Balance, always giving us that really cool access. And also big up Hardcore JXFTW, says I can't be the only one that thought Aaron was David Vianic. Uh, that's, that's a compliment. Oh, 100%. You know. Don't you think that no one ever compares me to anyone good looking? No. Ever. Avatar. Avatar. Spider. A spider. Cardado. His eyes are so far apart, like me, like a reindeer. <laughs> a reindeer. Guys, what does Poet look like? You know, hashtag Poet lookalike. Tell us what he looks like. Let's move on. Okay, Vuj, we've had our fun. Let's do a little bit of a European roundup now. We've got yeah. a comment here from Michael Carpenter. He says, Ronaldo scores his 500th goal was what was his best. Mm. We could talk about how wonderful Ronaldo is. Very easy to do. But he didn't score in the derby, did he? No, he didn't. Benzema did. Real Madrid won. Atletico Madrid won. Atletico Madrid apparently not playing the, the way in which they usually do. Not showing the heart, um, the passion and the fight. That's what I associate uh, Diego Silvioni team with, like Madrid, all, they don't give up. 1-1, one, one. can Madrid win the league this year? This league, Atletico. Villarreal, Celta Vigo. Other teams are turning up, which I find quite amazing, and Barca losing a couple of games. I don't know, you tell us. We lost 2-1 to Sevilla. The league is looking interesting. <laughs> Looks like Barca without Messi are nothing. Uh, let's talk about Bayern Munich versus Borussia Dortmund now. Dortmund, obviously the closest challengers to Bayern Munich. They lost 5-1. Five, but it's just Bayern. I don't know. Bayern are like an institution. They're, they're just a government. They're not even a football <laughs> club. It's, <laughs> it's a dictatorship. Robert Lewandowski is just. But you know what's so mad about Lewandowski? Piss. At the start taking of the season, piss. he wasn't starting. But at first, he wasn't in the first eleven. He was consistently he on the bench. He scores five goals and he scores four here and three. He just goals everywhere. Yeah. It's, a cr it's crazy. And we've got them on the twentieth mm. of this month, and we're gonna get battered. They're anyway, definitely, you know, in pole position to win that league. I like that one there. Paul. Yeah, so because he's Polish. Polish. Right? Napoli battered AC Milan 4 0. And you know what? I'm actually going to blame AC Milan's manager, coach, uh, Sinister Mihailovic, who I think. <laughs> you don't like is, him, do you? Is, is just a, just, he's, he's another Brendan Rodgers, but Serbian. He is a knobhead. So I'm, I'm very happy that he's getting back. He shouldn't be coaching. He shouldn't be in football. What should he be doing? Taking free kicks. Where? That's all Mihailovic does. Takes, you just carry on taking free kicks until he drops dead. <laughs> <laughs> in Holland, there was another derby. PSV beat Ajax. Fuck it, I don't know anything about that game. <laughs> Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 110 goals for PSG, all-time leading scorer. That says how awful PSG have been as a club in their history. <laughs> I thought we were going to go the other way. <laughs> nah. But yeah, that John turned up like yesterday, and now he's broken the all-time record. We are, a cop of 90 saying that Zlatan is a bit of a god. We've done a little video. Check the video. It's gonna probably just pop up. Yeah. Bang. Magic. Bang. Leave some comments and let us know what you think about Ibrahimovic. Uh, is he an absolute legend in world football? And you know what? I'm gonna throw it out there nice and early. Should he win Ballon d'Or? Ooh. Guys! Not one person. It's a Copa 90 event. Shout out. Next Monday, we'll be presenting the show from our pop up training room where you look, can capture your 40 skills on a purpose built bullet time 360 camera rig. Jeez. So that's what we're doing next week, Monday. Next Monday, yes. So we're not going to be in this wonderful place. No, we're behind. not. We're going to be in South Bank. South Bank. With that wonderful view. Yes. The water. With the bullet camera rig. This is going to be amazing. I'm so, like, Copper Fan, make sure if you are available to come down, come on down. Come on Take down. some pictures, have a laugh. Selfies. Play some 40. I like Talk selfies. Talk about life, GCSEs, BTECs, anything you want to talk about. So, Avuj said, make sure you do head on down to South Bank next Monday as myself, and this wonderful man to my left, sorry. We'll be there doing comments below and then we can have a bit of a laugh afterwards. All right, back to the Premier League. Let's do a bit of a quick Prem roundup. Start off with Big Dick. Yes, he has left. A decent, decent result against West Ham, but unfortunately he is no longer in charge of Sunderland. Fraud, it's a fraud. Manchester City are taking the absolute mick. Aguero scoring five goals. Congratulations to Man City there. Looking like they might win the league one, again. Just, just, just one point. Referees again, awful. Should have been a 2-0 for Newcastle. I think you should start firing referees. Mitrovic watch! The lad has scored. He scored a header. Should have had another one allowed. So he's basically scored two. He scored one and a half. Should have scored another one. 
past Joe Hart, he's basically scored three goals. Talking about refereeing decisions, a manager that complained about it was Mourinho on the weekend. Have Chelsea adopted a losing mentality? Chelsea? Because you did call Mourinho to go a little while ago. Uh, I know it's two games in, mm. but I sense within the next 15 games, new manager. I think Mourinho's losing it. Even Kitso Holele says he's overstayed his welcome in his opinion. And I think he has. All of this Mourinho, I'm going to put it in, in a, a bit of a different term. It's right. all energy going back to you. You can't be firing medical staff. You can't always be lying to the camera at interviews. And I'm happy. I'm really happy that Mourinho's getting what he deserves. Do you know what I feel like? One thing Mourinho was so good at doing was at having the ability to take all the attention of Chelsea's bad performances and take it on him. Yeah. Whereas now, I think everyone's just sort of wising up to the game and they realise now that's his whole thing. Can they get to the top four? Because Chelsea are looking like they Struggle. might actually break out of the top four for the first time since, was it, Eight points in eight games. That's that a point a game. Awful. Vuj. Yes. It's that epic moment in the show. It is. Where we address the millions. Yep. Brendan Rodgers is not involved. Yeah. And millions of Copper Night fans all across the world from not the YouTube. On MySpace. Snapchat. Yeah. MySpace. Mm -mm. Facebook. Yes. <laughs> Instagram. Tinder. It's the epic moment in the show that can only be described as in Chinese. Yi chong chong te ping I think that was good. Big up the Fergus 888. Um, but before we do move on, last week Muntazir said any other business and I said, Urdu Achebeta. <laughs> and Muni Basad actually informed me and said, that means okay, son. Which I don't know what had to do with any other business. <laughs> but okay, son. Thank oh. you very much. We are now going to move on to something where you point at the camera and oh. we say, what, what a, a guy. guy. The first one is from Brendan Podgers. Oof. Says, what a guy. Or team in this case. Gloucester City AFC players have put their wages into the pot to pay for fans 414 mile FA Cup trip. Respect. Now that is gangsta. That is some, that is... It's good to see, man. Next one is from Escute, who says the What A Guy award should go to Lawrence Vigaru, the goalkeeper alone at Swindon Town from Liverpool, for paying his £50 fine for not being at training on time, all in pennies. His loan was even terminated because of it. But still, what, what a guy. guy! Now, if you're asking me for pure bands, I want you to just imagine in your yeah. mind. Yeah, just in your mind. £50 fine, Imagining. and you turn up with bags of penny coins. He wins it. Lawrence Vigaru, this week, you are what, what a guy. guy. Now we're going to go on to the best comments of this week. And the first one is from Ethan Rogers. English clubs need to turn it around in the Champions League if they are to carry on or we could lose our fourth place and it only be three going to the Champions League thoughts. The Premier League is so it's, competitive. It's gotten much more competitive as Much well. more competitive. I think it's the most competitive league in the whole of Europe, which means it's just more difficult for English teams because you, can never, you can't doubt the quality of players like Aguero or Yaya Torre, Ozil, Sanchez. There's no way you can doubt that quality. But how intense our league is? You say that, that is the reason why we're doing That's so why bad I in think the Champions League. So Guys, do leave your comments. Why are English teams doing so bad in the Champions League? And what happens if we do lose our fourth spot? That, that I think, will be, it'll be a historical thing. Before we go, it's Sunday League corner time. Now, last week, we saw a fantastic goal from Mike. Ran past two players, banged it in top corner. This week, take a look at this. Right. Hello. Quite sweet. Let's hug it out, man. But it's good to see people hugging, hugging it man. out. Yeah. But guys, if you do want to check out more Palmers FC, head to Smith channel and subscribe. All right, now we have come to the end of the road. Still, I can't let. All right, yeah, make sure you want to let us know. Is Jurgen Klopp going to sign for Liverpool? Yes. Can Arsenal win the league? No. Is Aguero Jesus? Whoa. I know I went too far, didn't I? You went a bit too far, poet. Guys, don't forget to like, share the video. Leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Because next week, Monday, we are going to be doing it from South Bank and we need you lot to arrive. So make sure you arrive in your numbers. Until then, Arsenal are going to win the league! Arrivederci. <laughs>